There are so many updates on AI scene these days. We've seen updates on Cloud, Google Gemini, and Llama, etc. This rapid development can create a sense of overwhelm or a fear of missing out. However, as an individual, it's crucial to approach these developments strategically. So what should we do as an individual to survive or even thrive in this AI era? My humble opinion is rather than trying to keep up with every new tool or feature, focus on evaluating how these advancements can enhance your current workflow. Only invest time and effort in learning new tools when the potential benefits are significant. After a few weeks of playing with it, I think it's worth introducing Cloud updates. In this video, two powerful features of Cloud AI, projects and artifacts, and how they can be leveraged to improve your productivity and creativity. Without further ado, let's dive into it. So what is projects? Unlike normal chats, projects can maintain context across multiple conversations. This is beneficial as you can save time and energy to write down prompts like styles, formats, and tone, etc. whenever you create a new chat. As a note, projects are only available in the paid plan as of now. So let me walk you through how to create a project. First, uh, create a project and type your name and description is optional so I will just create like this and now you can see the left side as a normal chat the right side you can see project knowledge so right now it's empty and we can add any project knowledge or custom instructions for example, I set custom instruction for programming questions. I usually use certain task stacks and always want AI to answer based on my task stack. So I will include here and then I will save it. Then you can use it as a normal chat. And as a note, I noticed some people are confused between this ad content and this ad content. So in here, ad content is meaning we are adding references and context to our knowledge base. And on the left side, we are adding content for this specific chat. So keep that in mind. And let's say create a component for sidebar. Then I expect it's written in TypeScript react and using tailwind and as you can see here the response is i will create a sidebar component for an xjs project using typescript and tailwind css so i don't have to mention that i will use nextjs react typescript repeatedly for each conversation or each prompt that's a huge win and it looks good. Next example is to see how Cloud will remember your contacts to save and use it in different chats under the same projects. Let's assume that we have, we have a imaginary product with this tech stack and want to run marketing campaign. To do so, let's add some context first. Here I'll say marketing content and I'll save this one. This simple paragraph includes only core messages and mission. It does not include any information about the tax stack. So my expectation is Claude somehow in the background will combine these two contexts and give us the combined answer for the next prompt. Let's test how it works. Add content. And as you can see, there is a little progress bar here showing the size of your knowledge base. It takes only 1% so far. It means you can include a lot more necessary information for your projects and it will be referred across the chats. And let's get back on our regular chat here. And 
I'll try. How do we make the best marketing content to appeal to potential customers and give some good visualizations too? And if I click this, Honestly, I don't like the visualization, but let's go back to documentation here. Here, uh, we, we are having core messages that we included in the context, and it also includes the tech stack information and how it would save your time. So I cannot say this is perfect, but it gives a good starting point for running marketing marketing campaign so this is very powerful and this examples might not be applicable to you however you can evaluate any of your workflow that projects can help you save your struggles and time and if we go back to projects here here now as you can see if you start any any chat here it will be saved under this projects Oftentimes, I lose a lot of chats and start over and over again. This just this little feature save a huge pain for me. And if we go back to all projects, another lovely part is projects allow users to have customized knowledge base for each project. This way, you don't have to copy and paste custom instructions and other information for a different task save only once for context for each task and now you can forget about the settings and focus on what matters so what is artifact artifacts are a new feature in code that allow for creation and management of standalone content pieces within conversations i think this statement can be pretty confusing to many people the best descriptions after I research, as you can see, I'll come and interact with them inside code. For example, when we ask ChatGPT for some code, we cannot see how it works or how it will look inside ChatGPT. So what we need to do is to set up all the projects and try to run locally to see the result. With this, you don't need to leave code and see the outcome immediately. This can save significant time. Before we diving into any use cases, make sure your artifacts are turned on to check. You can either click here and artifacts are turned on, or you can click your here and feature preview and confirm is turned on. Once it's enabled, we can use it and I create a, another chat to demonstrate artifacts. So the very first thing I did was, I do have users in API keys. Give me the diagram for this database and how I can save users in this project. So database is created from Cloud. And if I click the chat control, you can toggle on and off to see the chat control. You can see the artifacts. So this is the very first artifact they created. If we click here, it shows nice diagram and I like it, it works. So I can go down and I can see the query for creating tables in Superbase, correct, correct. And then they show me in step three, they show me step by step in the code base. Install Superbase, create a client and function going down and then uh, the next question is how i can create a component to show ui to users to do so i will do here let's create a form for users and and users can enter their api keys let's see how this works boom here it shows API key verification, enter key, maybe one, two, three. Does it work? It doesn't work, but at least I can have an idea of the visuals I will implement even before implementation. So if we go back 
And now we can see another artifact here, API key verification form. Another use case is to enhance your learning with summaries and visualizations. I think this use case is the most beneficial for most people, regardless of their job titles. With artifacts, you can iterate conversation until we wrap our head around for a certain topic. Good example is, I want to learn more about LMM. So I said, create an interactive model of how LMM works and make it three times easier to understand. And let's click this one. And it's creating a interactive component, I think. And on the left side, it shows how it works in step-by-step -step manner. And on the right side, we can interact inside code to understand how LMM model is working generally. So if I type hello world, I'll put hi there, hello world. So explanation, and it shows your input, break into individual walls, and yada, yada, yada here. And then if you don't like it, like I said, you can iterate as many as you want and leverage these as a learning tool. And honestly, I'll learn way more difficult concept in shorter amount of time with the help of Claude. And as a team, try different artifacts to find out what you like. According to the official docs, here are some common examples. Documentations, code submit bits, uh, images, diagrams, and interactive React components. Uh, personally, I like React components and diagram, uh, but you can try different forms too. Cloud projects and artifacts are powerful tools to streamline your workflow and enhance your productivity. However, it's crucial to approach these new features with a thoughtful and strategic mindset. As emphasized throughout this discussion, the key is to not to adopt every new feature tool out of fear of missing out but rather to carefully evaluate how these features can enhance your existing processes. After several weeks of ex experience with cloud projects and artifacts, I can confidently state that they're worth exploring. The potential benefits in terms of organization, efficiency, and creative outcome are significant. I'll leave useful links as reference for those who are interested in. Thank you for taking time to explore this topic with me. If you found this information valuable, please like and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned on future discussion about AI, Obsidian, and business. Until next time, stay curious.